10 Secrets You Didn't Know About Your Favorite Breakfast Cereals Ever wondered what are the secrets behind your favorite childhood cereals? Well, welcome to Film Jumbo, and today we'll be explaining to you 10 secrets you didn't know about your favorite breakfast cereals. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more great content like this. 10th place, Smacks are bad for you. Though a classic cereal bowl favorite, Smacks consistently ranks first on the list of bad for you cereals. And with more sugar in one cup of the coated puffs than in an entire Twinkie, the idea of having a bowl of Smacks for breakfast seems pretty whack. According to the Environmental Working Group, the sugariest cereal of all is Kellogg's Honey Smacks. The cereal is described as sweetened puffed wheat cereal, which doesn't quite let on to the fact that 55.6% of the stuff is pure sugar. On top of that, Kellogg Smacks were also recalled in June of 2018 after the infamous Kellogg's Salmonella scandal, where the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued a warning advising everybody to stay away from Smacks at all costs. In June, 100 people had been infected with Salmonella from coming in contact with the cereal, and now at least 30 more people have been infected, bringing the total to at least 130 people. It was said that people shouldn't eat any Kellogg's Honey Smack cereal regardless of their package size or Best Buy date. That essentially ruined any chance for Kellogg's Smacks to be sold in the future. Ninth place, they stare down at kids. You might have noticed in your box of tricks that the characters always seem to be looking down at something weird. There's a rumor that advertisers use this technique to put the box mascots at eye level with kids roaming the aisles in supermarkets. Some skeptics call it a mere coincidence and say that the characters are just staring at the cereal on the box's image, but when you add in the fact that most sugar cereals sit on the lower shelves, the theory gets harder to shake. Is it a marketing tactic meant to stare at kids so they pay attention to them, or is it a mere coincidence? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Eighth place, Tony the Tiger has a deep backstory. If you've seen Frosted Flakes, which obviously you have, you might also be acquainted with Tony the Tiger, the mascot of the cereal box. However, Tony had quite a lot of competition before being given the role of Frosted Flakes mascot. In 1951, Eugene Kolke, an accomplished graphic artist, Leo Burnett, and art director Edward Kern sketched a character for a contest to become the official mascot of Kellogg's brand new breakfast cereal. Kolke designed a tiger named Tony. Tony competed against three other potential mascots for the public's affection, Katie the Kangaroo, Elmo the Elephant, and Newt the New. Within the year, the other mascots were dropped and Tony was also given a son, Tony Jr. The final Tony the Tiger design came from a group of former Disney animators known as Quartet Films. Tony got the job in 1952, but Katie the Kangaroo stole his thunder for a minute in 1953. He found his way back onto the box shortly thereafter and has promoted the flakes with its iconic great enthusiasm ever since. Tony began to be humanized in the 1970s. He was given an Italian-American nationality and consumers were briefly introduced to more of Tony's family, including Mama Tony, Mrs. Tony, and a daughter, Antoinette. Seventh place, the fourth brother of Rice Krispies. If you've ever seen Kellogg's Rice Krispies, you might also remember Snap, Crackle, and Pop, the cartoon mascots of the cereal. These gnome-like children were designed by illustrator Vernon Grant in 1930. The Rice Krispies clan actually had a fourth elf named Pow at one point. The brother made a brief appearance on boxes in the 1950s and was dreamed up as a nod to the explosive nutritional value of the cereal's whole grain rice and to the outer space obsession of the decade. Pow only appeared in a couple of commercials and fell off shortly after his debut, being taken off officially in 1998. The trio were used in a conservation message during World War II and briefly reimagined as superheroes in the early 90s, but later returned to their original elf-like form. Just does things, like putting power... Sixth place, the first cereal. The first cereal was so-called granula. It had to be soaked in water the whole night before it could be prepared for eating. In 1863, dietary reformer Dr. James Caleb Jackson invented granula, nuggets of rich graham flour. The cereal was made from dough baked into long sheets and broken up into small pieces. 
Dr. Kellogg also invented a similar cereal of the same name, but changed it to granola after Jackson threatened him with legal action. The cereal was manufactured from a dough of graham flour rolled into sheets and baked. The dried sheets were then broken into pieces, baked again, and then broken into smaller pieces. Eventually, John Kellogg's granola had commercial success, and he began working with his businessman brother, William Kellogg. They ended up founding the commercial cereal empire we know today as Kellogg's. At that time, the standard American breakfast was a cholesterol-laden hot mess of eggs, bacon, sausage, and chicken or beef, plus cooked grains, biscuits, toast, butter, and jam. So granola was a welcome addition to the traditional breakfast. Fifth place, the origins of Cheerios. Cheerios are one of the most beloved cereals out there, manufactured by General Mills. However, Cheerios didn't always have their iconic name. Originally, they were manufactured in 1941 as Cheerios, starting on May 1st, 1941. The name was shortened to Cheerios in 1945. Its production was based upon the extrusion process invented for Kix in 1937. In 1976, Cinnamon Nut Cheerios was the first departure from the original flavor of Cheerios over 30 years after the cereal was created. The second was Honey Nut Cheerios, introduced in 1979. Fourth place, Cocoa Krispies have no cocoa. Rice Krispies are popular, but even more so is their close cousin, the Cocoa Krispies. You might be surprised to know that Cocoa Krispies contain almost no chocolate. The chocolate version of Snap, Crackle, and Pop's signature cereal contains only 2% or less of semi-sweet chocolate, per the nutrition label. In fact, the flavor you get from the Chocolate Krispies is mostly sugar, vanilla, and malt flavoring, but the brown color tricks our brains into thinking it's chocolate. It's ironic that they're marketed as the chocolate version of Rice Krispies, when in truth they have more vanilla and cornstarch than actual chocolate. Third place. Apollo 11 brought cornflakes to the moon. The astronauts aboard Apollo 11 had Kellogg's cornflakes with them. The cereal was mixed up with fruit and formed into cubes since eating it with milk was impossible without gravity. Not only was this a big step for humanity, it was a big one for cereal as well. Second place, Fruit Loops all have the same flavor. You might have probably noticed this already, but all the Fruit Loops have the same flavor. They just look different. But similar to the Cocoa Krispies we saw earlier, this is just a mind trick. They all have the same vague fruit flavor regardless of their color. First place, Lucky Charms has strange lore. Lucky Charms were created in 1964 by product developer John Hollihan. General Mills Management challenged a team of product developers to use the available manufacturing capacity from either of General Mills' two principal cereal products, Wheaties or Cheerios, and do something unique. The first boxes of Lucky Charms cereal contained marshmallows in the shapes of pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, and green clovers. The others, such as blue diamonds, were introduced later. Some fans have theorized that these marshmallow pieces have a secret meaning. That's because the marshmallows are the charms in the Lucky Charms, each with a special power. Supposedly, the heart symbolizes the ability to bring things to life. Horseshoes have an ability to speed things up, the hourglass has the power to slow down time, the balloon can make things float, and so on and so on. It's a long list of superpowers contained in each marshmallow. Recent changes to the marshmallows include the star shape taking on a star design, the orange five-pointed star being complemented by a white trail. In late 2005, another marshmallow shape was added, the hidden key. It's a solid yellow marshmallow that resembles an arched door. The unicorn, according to the inaugural cereal box, unicorns can cleanse water with a touch of their horn, heal whatever troubles you, and always knows when you're telling the truth. So, what'd you think of these 10 secrets that you didn't know about your favorite breakfast cereals? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more great content like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.